Hello and welcome back everyone. In this video, we're going to discuss a topic that's at the heart of the whole process of coming up with a strategy for a business. And this topic is called strategic management. We're going to look at the process of strategic management and the importance that the business places to this process. Now, strategic management, which is really everything that we need to know when it comes to business strategy is a four step process. And when we talk about strategic management, it's all about managing the long term expectations of a business, which we know that comes through your long term objectives. So the strategic management process finds its basis within the objective of the company. Where do they want to see themselves in five years, 10 years? And based on that objective, they will find actions that the different departments in the organizations have to conduct today in order for the business to achieve that long term goal. So this whole process then becomes setting of long term goals and implementing cross functional decisions. When I say functions, it means departments. So making sure every department knows exactly what they have to do so that the business able to achieve these goals. So it's all about managing first, imagining a good future and then managing and then of course achieving it. That's what strategic management will allow a business to do. Now, why is this important? Why this whole process needs to be laid out in a particular way and why certain techniques are so important? First of all, this is your plan for the long term future. Everybody likes to have a bright future and without any planning and you're just going day by day. So if you want to work towards, you want to achieve it, you should have a plan in place. And that's what strategic management does. It gives you something to work with. And it's very important for a business to constantly keep an eye on its dynamic external environment. Things are comp always changing in the external environment. We saw everything in the first chapter from the political changes to legal environmental. There are so many factors in the external environment that are constantly putting pressure on the business to make decisions. In order to make decisions, you first need to figure out what's happening in that external environment. And that's what the strategic management process allows you to do. Then it will give you an insight as to how the market that you're operating in is changing and whether it's in your favor or if it's going against you. And within this strategic management, as I said, the fundamentals of all of this is your long term objective. So for everyone to unsure of what the business is going for, they simply look at the strategic management process and you figure out exactly what you're doing. And that's important for all the employees to know exactly how they are contributing towards these targets. And once the objectives are figured out, they're broken down into individual departmental and worker targets. And that's what you want. You want everyone to be working towards a common goal and them having a clear idea of exactly what they need to be doing in their role, how the inventory manager needs to manage the inventory, how the marketing guy needs to come with a new product mix. So all those things must be aligned in a way that they're achieving that common goal, which the strategic management process has set out. And once every worker knows what they're doing, of course, they will have they will require resources at different departments. So marketing has a different requirement, finance different, and a business has a bunch of resources, which we know is land, labor, capital. So the business will have to divide up those resources among these different departments so that they're able to achieve the targets that they're given. So that's what the strategic management process is doing. It's aligning all your stars in a straight line so the business knows exactly how each of the workers are working towards a common goal. That's what strategy management process is. So the strategic management process is a four step process and each of these uh, steps have been shown here through the use of chess pieces. So the king here is the beginning of the entire strategic management process. And this king indicates the long term objective of the business. As I've been saying that this is the fundamental of the entire process without knowing what you want to achieve, you won't be able to set a plan in place. So the objective is where we begin and we're going to associate that with the king. The second set step in our strategic management process is called strategic analysis. And that has been shown here as a knight. And you want to send out the knight to find out what's really happening in the kingdom. Are the people happy? Are they not happy? Are we under threat? Are we prospering? So strategic analysis process is all finding out how is the business faring right now? Are we in a good phase? Are we not? Do we need to change things? That's what strategic analysis allows us to do. 
Once the business goes through its strategic analysis process, then comes strategic choice. And as the name suggests, this is where you will make a choice from among many possible strategies that one to choose. Of course, you will have a limited or a scarce amount of resources, so you cannot follow multiple strategies. You must follow one. And that's what we have to do at this stage, figure out which one is right for the business. And then finally, once that strategy has been decided, you can't just simply pack it up and say, oh, we've come up with something that's good enough. You have to go out and implement it across the different functions, across the entire business, so that everybody knows what they have to do in order to achieve the chosen strategy, which came after a huge process of conducting strategic analysis based on what the company wants to achieve. So this whole process, the strategic management process, will then at the end of it clearly identify to the business what are they doing, why are they doing it, and how are they going to implement it throughout the business. And hopefully, with all of these aligned in sync, this trajectory and this growth is what the business gets to see. Now, let's look at each of these stages in a little more detail and get a fair understanding of really what we are saying when we talk about each of them. Starting with the objectives of any business, we know this from the discussions in AS and everything else, that this is your long-term target. We know that this is what the business sets itself to achieve over a long period of time. We know that your objectives are what are the basis for the entire strategic management process and the entire strategy to follow after that. So this is the very fundamental, the most essential part of the entire management process. And objectives are, of course, divided by the top managers in the organization, the president, the chairman, the CEO, the department heads. Because you want the most skilled people and who have an idea of exactly what's going on in the business in a more holistic way to make a decision about such a holistic plan, which is the strategic management process. So once the business decides, look, this is what we want to achieve, then they have to start the process of strategic analysis. And here... Being the king, you don't go out and do it yourself. You send your best knight to do it. And when you send your knight out to find out what's really happening within and around the business, there are three answers that you're looking for. Where are we now? So what's really happening with the business? Are we prospering? Are we not? Have we become stagnant? What's happening within the business internally, as in what departments are functioning at their most efficient, which are the departments that need new support, new training. So where are we now as a business? Secondly, what's coming? This is either positive or negative, and you're looking at the external environment to see how it's changing and the new changes, how are they having an impact on the business? So for example, if there's a new piece of technology that's going to add to your business, then something positive is coming. If there's new competition along the way, then something negative is coming. So you want to figure out on the night to have an idea of what's really changing in the kingdom. Are there, are there more threats out there or are there new opportunities? And finally, how are we going to respond? So you need to come up with a few strategies at this point to figure out first when you figure out where are we now, what's our internal situation, externally what's coming, keeping those in mind, how are you going to in, uh, counteract those new changes and how are we going to be best prepared to make the most out of the new situation? How do you do that? By going through a process of strategic choice. This is where you need to have clear alternatives in front of you. And these alternatives you will have found out at the end of your strategic analysis process. And don't worry, when we get there, it will all make sense to you. But just understand that at this point, you will have multiple strategies. Of course, you don't just come up with one. You want to see what are the different options. And from those clear alternatives, you need to choose any one. So finalizing one strategy that you feel is most suitable given the internal and external situation of the business is what we do here at this point. And this decision cannot be taken without having an idea of what your resource availability is like. So maybe you want to expand to 10 countries, but you don't have money for even five of them. You can't do it. You don't have the right skilled workers and you can't do it. So you must make sure that the resources are available. And according to those, you're making the right strategy to suit the objective that they had set out. And then finally, when it comes to implementing it, 
It's all about making sure that you're ready to execute and the business plan, the new strategic plan is understood by everyone within the organization. So it's cross-functional changes plan all across the board. So whatever you need to learn, do it now. Whatever you need to bring in, do it now because now we're going towards the implementation of this new strategy. So these four stages collectively will then give the business the entire strategic management process. And with this in place, the business can now start working towards that bright future that they want. Hey there, if you like what you saw right now, head over to altacademy.org for access to content around six subjects with past papers, videos, revision guides, flashcards, and academic support. All of this is gonna make sure that you're completely set for your A-levels. So I'll see you there on the platform.